right. Uh, so now we can start uh, building our framework. But before moving to the development, uh, I would like to show you the software that needs to be installed. Okay, uh, so you must be installed uh, this uh, XAMPP controller, or maybe you can use WAMP or any other, uh, you know, software that uh, comprises Apache and MySQL stuffs. Uh, so in my case, uh, I'm going to use XAMPP. So after you download and install it, uh, your controller will be look like this. XAMPP controller will be look like this, and now you can simply toggle Apache and MySQL access so make sure after you uh, toggle these apache and mysql it must be colored in green if you are using uh, sam and the ports must be also uh, specified without no errors okay uh, because uh, sometimes uh, if you are using these ports uh, for any other uh, applications these stuff may get blocked so your uh, application won't run uh, Basically, it won't execute. Okay. So make sure Apache and MySQL will run correctly. After that, uh, you can simply go to the SAM folder and htdocs. So here you have to uh, build a folder. So in my case, uh, I will name my framework as maybe. Okay, uh, let's say. Simple epic. Okay. Now, um, I can go to this folder, and uh, I hope you install the VS Code as well. You can simply type code over here, I guess. No. Uh, okay. Go to the VS Code and go to the file, open folder, see state docs, then simple epic. Right, then uh, click this trusting stuff. Right, so here is our folder. Now, uh, since we are going to use MVC workflow, uh, first uh, we must create a proper folder structure. Okay, so uh, I would like to uh, first initially have app folder, then the public folder. So basically, app is the folder which include all the controllers, views, models, uh, helpers, and uh, uh, libraries and things like that the core functionalities of the system the public is the one uh, which hold the CSS stylings and maybe JavaScript files that we are going to use and uh, images videos audio clips anything like that those are uh, comprises within the public folder stored within the public folder so in the public folder I will build uh, maybe um, let's say CSS and uh, let me quickly look at my documentations. Yeah, CSS, and you can specify JavaScript as well. So, JS, then uh, simply you can make a folder like IMG to store images or something like that. So, if you want to store videos, audio, or anything like that, uh, you can build. Uh, folders related to each thing and uh, yeah I think uh, that's the public folder and in the app folder first we need to have configuration folder because uh, you, your database configurations and uh, you know user session configurations and each and everything will be stored within this configuration folder uh, then the development will be easy uh, then obviously you need to have controller or let's say controllers okay because we are going to uh, create multiple controllers then models and uh, obviously views right 
then uh, we need to have our libraries and uh, can create a helper helpers folder to store helper function right uh, I guess those are the stars and um, okay so that's the for uh, basically folder architecture so inside this folder architecture uh, initially I will build our bootloader file in the app folder I guess uh, yeah in the app folder I'm going to build bootloader PHP so basically bootloader means this is the initial file that will execute and it can redirect any other uh, files to be executed okay so we are only uh, specify this bootloader as an entry point to, the, uh, to our framework okay so all the corresponding views controllers or models libraries everything will be redirected through the boot bootloader okay and uh, yes and uh, we need to specify ht access files as well because ht access file means basically uh, it will override these uh, what we call this uh, apache roots uh, so if if you are familiar with uh, apache roots we know uh, the root must start with localhost then we need to specify a folder which means simple epic so you, you can have any other name to specify your framework okay and you can simply click uh, or press enter so this is our parent structure so as you can see it will just show the structure this is not what what we want we want to redirect to a specific file in our case to redirect the bootloader file in bootloader will uh, instantiate as an entry point to execute or to load other libraries or any other uh, files right so htaccess file i will uh, just declare right now uh, and the content will be uh, i will explain later so make sure it will start dot htaccess okay don't specify any other name it just dot ht access and uh, yeah I guess that's pretty much it uh, uh, yeah uh, and we need to have the index file okay so index is the initial um, what do you call the initial uh, PHP file that is being executed uh, so even if I specify this as a PHP basically it will render the HTML content uh, but yeah, it's a PHP file. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, so let me quickly look at my content. Okay. So for example, I will just simply type php stuffs so I go the simple epic and I can simply go to the simple epic public folder and the index.php right so it works so like that uh, later on we will create the more complex uh, pages to render this PHP content in dynamically okay uh, so yeah I think uh, for this episode this stuff will be enough so make sure you will create this sort of a folder structure and if you are a beginner it's better if you are following uh, exact same things but uh, if you if you are some sort of intermediate person if you have some sort of knowledge about this stuff then 
go on you can make your own changes okay uh, so in the next episode we will cover uh, more stuffs so thank you